What is something you miss about being with a guy that a girl can't provide? The thing that I miss the most that a woman can't provide is... What's up, Neezy Gay? Gay, 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 gay. Okay, we on point. Look. We're back! We're back in my man cave! My cave made for a man with a woman in front of me! D. K. Her cave. The cave. It's okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Get it. Get it. Okay. <laughs> we're back, y'all! We're back! As requested. Video. What's up? Okay, y'all. Highly requested or what? This was extremely highly requested. All right. Yeah. Everyone wanted to see a part two of our last video where I'm in the hot seat because, listen, I came up with some bomb questions for Easy, okay? And it wasn't just for Easy. She was answering four studs. For my studs. Um, so now she came up with some questions for me. Are I they can't wait to crazy. They're going to be good. Mm. They're going to be uh, juicy. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, Natalie asked questions that Fims are afraid to ask studs, okay? But we're doing a little switcheroni. We're doing questions studs are afraid to ask straight women. Straight women. Straight women. Because straight women, okay? Yeah, this is, this is... This is gonna be juicy. Juicy. It's gonna be different. Hot and juicy, different. Yeah. Or our film. Some are like kind of towards straight. Well, some of the questions are gonna be towards straight women. Some are gonna be towards just Fims. like a femme in general. Okay. So. You ready? Yes. We wanna get straight into it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that like button right now. Subscribe and share your favorite part of this video. Gio. We are about to start really posting everybody again. I'm trying to get your followers up. Share, share your favorite it. part of this video. Share the video. Okay, let's get into it. On your story. All right. My first question is, what is something you miss about being with a guy that a girl can't provide. Yeah, I see. Oh, damn, we yeah, went we... right into it. I see, tell that me. That a man, that a woman can't provide. So is there anything you miss? Mm, to be honest, I would say the thing that I miss the most that a woman can't provide, I would say as easily. <laughs> Cause I'm not saying that a woman can't provide it. Okay. But not as easily. Okay. Um, is the spontaneity, like sexually, like how spontaneous you can be. Wow. Yeah. Because you not talking talk about me. You talk about <laughs> studs in general. Um. Cause I'm sp I spontaneous, baby. What you are, mean? You no, know, you are. But I'm talking about so like you'll have to be prepared somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean. Not. Get what they're talking about. Maybe they don't know what they're talking you about. You gotta have like your backpack. <laughs> Whereas a guy doesn't. Whereas a guy doesn't. Like a guy, you can really at any moment, any time, you know, yeah. get down. Okay. Get down with the get down. So like, that's you miss. I mean, but like I said, it's not to say that a woman can't be spontaneous because you have spontaneous moments, you know, and yeah. I'm sure some of you guys have. It's just, it's not as easy. It's never easy being easy. Or is it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. That's. I mean, that's understandable. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm so fucking tired of this fly. What is fly. wrong? It's on Get your the head. Fly! Okay, I mean, I, I totally understand it, though. I understand it, baby. Um, You know, like I said, I'm spontaneous, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I can't just drop my jaws in. I mean, it depends if I got my piece on or not. You know what I'm saying? But it's still not attached to you, so it's not gonna be a all the time thing. Okay. So. All right. It's just, yeah. Okay. Anyway, That's, next question. Okay, next question. She eyes are juicy over here. So hot already. I'm like. <laughs> Okay, so this leads me to my next question, actually. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I want to feel like all your questions are about to be sexual. No, I mean, it still does want to know. Okay, so since we're on the topic, does sex with a girl compare to sex with a guy? <laughs> Answer the question. Answer the question. Uh, Go ahead, baby. All right. So I'm going to lead with this, and then I'm going to answer the question. Oh, first man. Foremost, Don't be sugarcoating nothing, baby. First and foremost, um, I can't speak for all studs because I don't know how all of y'all are. And I can't speak for all men because, you know, like everyone's skill set is going to be different. Everyone's okay. skill set might not be your skill My set. My skill set. You know what I'm saying? But Sorry, I am studs. going to compare her to men that I've been with. Okay. And I would definitely say some of my best sexual experiences have been with her. Now she just might be better at what she does or it might be, go ahead. get up. All right, go ahead, Ooh. go ahead, answer the question. I'm not even- Or it could possibly be, um, you know what I'm saying? That maybe girls in general just know what another woman would like. How to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, tell me what you're saying. Y'all yeah. know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I feel 
feel like maybe it could possibly be that women know a woman's body. So it's like naturally they might know how to please but we ain't got woman better. But, but what about this though? Are like, you know, cause some studs use, you know, pieces. If y'all know I'm talking about the backpack, if y'all know I'm talking about you know what I'm saying, that I so a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? What about in that area? Like that's what I'm really talking about. I, I feel like you wanna know that. I it's don't think my, they wanna know that. It's studs! <laughs> I'm talking about that too. All right, man. Come what on. What do you mean? It, just, are you saying in general? Or are you saying all no, together? No, I would say, and for my experiences, mm -hmm. it has been better. It has been. I mean, in my experience, but we have ten points. Experience might be different. We have ten points, studs. Let's go. Men, I feel bad for you, bro. That's why they keep coming over to the other side. Okay, so next question is, you know, being new into the LGBTQ plus community, are you more attracted to studs or are you more attracted to films? I feel like you already know the answer to this, but I'll let y'all know, I guess. Um, I find myself to be more attracted to studs for sure. Like, I think Is it because you were a woman or no? Uh, you think because it was because men? I don't think so because it's not like I'm gonna be attracted to all studs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like, I think pretty studs are very attractive. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, um, I, I, and pretty, I can look at a girly girl, I'm like, oh, she's beautiful, but it just, it's just different because I like dominance. So it's like, I, I think that like if I were to like be with a, like a girly girl, it just, I would have to be the dominant one. I don't want to be. So. That daddy, come on, come oh on, come on, that daddy. No, 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 What's no, no, up? No. So you're more attracted to studs and films. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't find myself to be honestly attracted to films like that. Like, I mean, I, I'll be like, wow, she's beautiful. She has a nice body. Or, but, Damn. Yeah. Like, not one. Okay, okay, that, I mean, mean, that leads me one. Okay, that leads me to my next question, okay. okay? Since you're more attracted to studs, what, cause a lot of straight women I feel like are attracted to women. Like, I feel like every girl got a little game. You know what I'm saying? So, besides your girl, you know what I'm saying? What studs are you attracted to? Like, if you have to name drop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what studs are you attracted to? Like, what, what are your stud crushes, you know? I really don't think we have a great representation of studs, like, in the media to, like, name drop, you know? What? I mean, I feel like, I feel like, uh, what were you about to say? Uh, Ram Ruby Rose. Oh, you said uh, Air. The Am. I was gonna say Amber Rose, but I meant Ruby Rose. Oh, I'm gonna say Amber's Closet? No. <laughs> My friend? <laughs> no, I love Amber. But, um, Ruby Rose, I think she's beautiful, but she's kind of like a mix between like a, I think she's like a stem, right? Yeah, it's the like stem, stem, stem. Well, I mean, studdish stem. There's so many terms yeah. now. I'm just like, just keep it in like general studs. Yeah, but she's a yeah. little like more masculine presenting usually. I think she's like yeah. really cute. But I mean, other than that, there's not really, but I'll see like on my timeline sometimes I'll be like, oh, she's cute, but okay. I don't know who they are, you oh, know? Oh, so not so, nobody, like not a, no celebrity you could think can of. Can you even like, think of any studs? That's fine. Only studs that I can think of is young. Young Ame, and I think like her voice is dope, like, but I'm not like physically attracted to her, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. All right, what about social media studs? I literally only know your friends. <laughs> That's true. Okay. But I, I would say like, you know, your friends are cute, okay. but I'm okay. not attracted to them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, let's, let's bring it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? Let's get juicy. Okay, so my next question is, do you feel more protected with a stud or did you feel more protected with a guy? Feeling. You can be honest. <laughs> I'm about to be honest. Be honest as hell. I don't want you to feel offended. Oh, well, we know the answer to that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I feel like in most cases, being with a man, you feel more protected. Wow. Like you feel more safe. Yeah. Because, wow, baby, you just stepped on my foot. That was me stepping on them nickels. <laughs> That's the old mm. All right, baby, stop. You're booty. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, I just feel like overall, you know, men, um, because the only person that usually would make you feel unsafe is other men. So it's like, you know, if I'm with a girl, like sometimes it can feel a little intimidating, like it's, especially if it's a group of men, because at the end of the day, we're still okay. both girls. Right. However, I would say if Easy didn't make me personally feel like protected, like if she was like pussy ass hope. Um, 
if she was, you know, acting like very scary and stuff like that, like I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be able to be with her. So she, she does make me feel like safe. Like she, my well being is always at the top of her mind. Like, yeah. oh, don't walk over here or come here. And like if there's somebody sketch looking around, you know, mm -hmm. or she'll like, you know, make sure she has on her what she needs to, you know, have to handle business. So okay. I feel safe still with her, but I, I have felt more safe with men. Some people want to know, what is your role as a femme in this relationship? Um, that's so funny because I feel like people automatically assume when they see, um, a more masculine presenting woman yeah. and then a feminine presenting woman, yeah. they feel like it's automatically what it looks like. And it's, that's something that I even had to learn that it's not always the case. Like just because a woman wants to dress like in, in certain type of clothes or, yeah. you know, whatever carries herself a certain way, that doesn't mean that she's not still a woman you know and okay. in this relationship I've found that I've definitely played both roles like I've played daddy masculine and feminine and I wouldn't <laughs> say did you play daddy no I went, I'm not daddy <laughs> <laughs> not daddy but like something that would be perceived to be more i guess masculine like i don't know like you have your vulnerable moments where i need to like hold you and like make sure you're okay and stuff like that take care of you whatever the case may be and then but for the most part i would say i'm not the dominant role in the relationship even though i have a very strong she's, personality she's a very strong personality Natalie. yeah what Look at even think? the even the way she does this. That's her little that's her little dominance coming out. Look at her. Her <laughs> snap was cute. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> that was person. I think that Natalie Natalie is definitely very dominant in a lot of ways that I'm not used to. She's very dominant, but it's crazy though the feminine energy in the relationship overall. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, it's not a typical, I guess, st a stereotypical relationship that you probably would assume. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're a very dominant woman. Yeah, it's I like, love it though. Yeah. And and because it's in the right way. It's not too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can be. I think he had to adjust. I think he had to adjust. I used to go, used I used to complain to about it. I was like, for her. stop. Yeah. Like, Whoa. Oh, you gotta... Calm down, Natalie. And, now, and I used to have to tell her like, this is my, because she would think that I was just acting like that because I'm with her. And like, I'm like, baby girl. Yeah. I was like this in all my relationships. Dumb it's not sometimes. because you're a woman. It's just because this is my personality and yeah. it can she come had a, off that Do way. you guys not see her older, bro older brother? That was her inspiration. Like, you know what I'm saying? She didn't have an older sister to be girly and stuff like that. She had an older brother. Not girly and stuff like that. He, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she's girly, but I felt like, you know, her role model was guy. So I felt like his energy like passed down to her when it comes to masculinity or dominant ways sometimes. I think I'm very, <laughs> <laughs> why is wrong? this the longest, why is this the, yeah, we, me and my brother have very similar personalities. Which is a guy. I think that um, I'm very strong head, headed, strong willed. I know what I want. I'm a guy. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm, I don't take, like rap. That's you not what I mean? I'm talking about now. Those are the dominant things about me though that can come off masculine where mm -hmm. maybe a more feminine woman you would expect to just be more just like, I think people expect that feminine women are just more docile. Like, wow, go ahead and educate me cause I don't know what that means. <laughs> Docile. I mean, I can I can use it in a sentence and assume what it means. Go ahead, vocab, you not read. Docile. I yeah. have you even. I don't even think you've ever said that word in your life. But because you have a fucking intelligent ass I brain. I went into my Rolodex. It was like boom, docile. What did you say? Docile. Docile. So basically, that basically means that you know. Um. All right. Usually they use the term Respecting, docile right? for no docile. It's like if it an animal's docile, it's usually just like timid. It's it's like, you know, it, you, it's not gonna bark, it's not gonna bite, it's not gonna, you know what I'm saying? She about and that I life. And I think that when, like, people perceive that a feminine woman is gonna be more just like docile like that, like just more reserved, like not have, be super, super opinionated, da da da. It's not the case. It's yeah. not the case. She's a strong white woman. I'm not white. All right, baby. I'm biracial. She's, she's a strong black. That's when her strong black side come out. Day, day. I got it from my mama, though. You see my mom's personality. My mom's very sweet, but very strong-willed. Nice. 
Okay. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. I know, but I think it was interesting. It was good. It was a good that question. I know a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to, you want us to go more and yeah. go about stuff and like be more educational. So, okay. so my next question <laughs> does, <laughs> okay, right. right. So my next question is, does men give better oral sex or does stud? That's kind of like the same as your other question. Well, I, I wanted to go back. Ah, she wants her little horn today. No, <laughs> I really want to know. Like, honestly, you're my best friend. At the end of the day, I really want the people want to know like the people ask the mm. questions i like i'm just gonna reiterate what i said i think women do know uh, the female anatomy, anatomy. just yeah. a lot better so i feel like with men um when you're with them sexually they kind of have like one end goal you okay. know so it's a little harder for them to like i would say focus on really pleasing you and i feel like with women it's about the entire journey you know what i'm saying it's about the not all i don't know i mean i haven't had more than one woman so <laughs> but it's not about like you know it's about the foreplay it's about like the during i just think it's so much more passion because it's not just it's like more of a connection you know what i'm saying oh i was gonna get like spiritual oh <laughs> yo i think that's all the questions i got honestly i don't think i have any more questions um my questions were they heat they were cool they were cool they were cool we can, we can do a part two maybe y'all can help me out with some more questions i feel like that they were cool part three that was part three it'll be my part two but if you want yours you can have a part two too i was saying if y'all run this one up maybe we'll do another one if another you feel one. like there's questions we didn't answer but yeah. i feel like i mean i think we did pretty good we did pretty good okay guys so make sure you guys like and subscribe to our youtube channel i really love you guys and thank you so much for tuning in i'm young easy and i'm natalie odell and we are easy x natalie okay.